Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I glorify you for this privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel that somebody at the, at the sound of my voice may be blessed and encouraged, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. My name is Pastor Florence Mina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, a program of One World Digital Media, and I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be While Men Slept, Eve Will Sleep. Hmm. Sleeping is good and it's healthy. But you, if you sleep and when there is danger, that is not wisdom. I remember sometimes back when we were back home before we migrated to the USA. There are times that the area of our residence was not very safe and men would switch days, nights, when they would keep watch, rotation. And every time there was an incident of insecurity, all of them would gather in the spiritual realm, we have to be very sensitive because we have an enemy who works 24-7 for the downfall of the kingdom of God in our spiritual lives. And in that, we need to be vigilant. We need to be careful. Jesus gave his disciples a parable, which is very significant with what I am sharing about sleeping, spiritual sleep. Spiritual sleep can be very, very detrimental to your own life, to the people you relate with, and to the people that God has assigned you to be responsible for. If it's a mother, if it's a mother or a father, and you spirit you sleep spiritually, you put your generation, future generation, at risk of being attacked by the enemy. Because the enemy tried to attack the seed or the future generation so that he can cut short the destiny. But we have an assignment and we you fulfill it, we shall stand. My verses of reference is from Matthew 13, verse 24. 24 to 30, and I'll read in Jesus' name. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servant came to him and said, Sir, did you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I'll tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and, the, and, and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. May the Lord bless his word. While men were sleeping, we are all... We have all been called by God from the time we were born. And so we are like the seed that has been planted. But when men sleep, when we sleep, when there is spiritual sleep, the enemy of our soul, the enemy of our marriages, the enemy of our children, the enemy of our career, the enemy of our ministries, the enemy of our countries, the enemy of our neighborhood will, will, has a tendency to plant bad seed, bad seed of competition, bad seed of en en enmity, bad seed of jealousy, bad seed of comparison, bad seed of bitterness, 
bad seed of infidelity in marriages, bad seed of spiritualism. May God help you and myself to wake up. We can't afford to sleep when we see what is going on. We can't afford to sleep when we see that the life we are living is so much endangered by many things. I'm so grateful to people who sacrifice themselves for the safety of others, like the boys who are trapped, trapped in a cave. When I was, uh, I've been looking at the news and I see how men sacrifice themselves, that is what we have been called for. Can you imagine those people who are rescuing those boys if they slept or if they relaxed? May God help you not to relax when you realize there is something going on and you can't know unless you are awake. If you are sleeping, if you don't pray, you are not going to be a rat in the spirit. And as you drive, when you see people are just driving without signaling, you can't see it like is in a danger. You are going to join and, uh, you know, the, the team and start complaining. Complaining will not help. It is in that anger that the enemy will come and plant the seed. And then, boom, you will be there and you are in an accident. May God help us. Some things the enemy has caught them like they are normal. But if you open up your spiritual eyes, you will see as a spiritual battle. Because though we walk in the fresh, we do not war after the fresh or the physical things, but it is against the principalities of the air and we have to pull them down in the spiritual realm through the weapons of our spiritual warfare, which are not carnal, but they are mighty through God according to the words in Corinthians. When you see a man and a woman, that's a husband and a wife. They are driving. They are quarreling. There is spiritual sleep. When you hear a man or a woman asking their spouse, who do you think you are? They forget that they used to call you honey, babe. When you see that the young ones do not give the older ones respect, whether you are related or not, because that is the protocol for the blessings to flow. There is spiritual sleep. When you see the young people so stubborn, when you tell them something even before you finish, they shout you up. That is disrespect, being disrespectful. And there is a seed of that has been planted of the evil one. Planted. So that there is no respect. When you fail to respect the older people. When you fail to respect the ministers of the gospel. Which means you should respect everybody. Because you don't know who people are. Like now I'm a pastor and I work. Where I work. People may just. We are passing by. We are working together. They do not know who I am. But I'm a chosen person by God. You are a chosen person by God. You need to be respected, irrespective of your age, irrespective of your ethnicity, irrespective of your, uh, your professional status. If we are to live well, we have to wake up spiritually. May the older generation remember to intercede for the younger generation because things are not going on okay. Where can we get the weeping women? Jeremiah said that women who know how to weep be called upon. May God call for the women who can cry for the generations that is there that does not know the good or bad. That does not know the instruction of the word of God but all there is is the media. The media is good like how I'm using it. But only when you use it with wisdom. Because you can't be a robot of the media and manage to be able to grow well. I'm going to repeat verse 25. But while everyone was sleeping, many people are sleeping. 
Well, everyone, everyone include the grown-up, everyone include the children, everyone include the parents, everyone include the children, while everyone was sleeping. The enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. The enemy will, of our soul will come, plant the seed of immorality and go away. And you have no idea, you just have those restful desires. Because there was a spiritual sleep and the enemy came while you were sleeping and it was planted and you have no idea why you are craving for that stuff. May God help us. Oh God, help that man, help that woman to awake from spiritual sleep so that we can save our moral values. Verse 27. The owner's servant came to him and said, Sir, did you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. And you'll be wondering, didn't we see them going to church? Didn't we see taking our children to the Sunday school? Where did this behavior come of homosexuality? Where did this behavior come of disrespecting the older people? Where did this behavior come of cheating every now and then? Where this, did this uh, behavior come of corruption? The enemy did it, he replied. Hmm. The servants asked, Do you want us to go and pull them out? He replied, No. Because while you are trying to uproot the weeds, the wheat could be affected too. Let them grow together another head. Oh, when the harvesters will be given instruction, the weed will be corrected and tied in bands and burnt. And the wheat will be stored in the barn. Where are you? The good thing with our God is that he's a God of a second chance. He always gives you and myself a second chance. We can always repent before God. He is always waiting for you to confess your sins. According to 1 John 1, 9-10. That if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. May God help you. Self-search yourself. Self-check yourself. Do yourself a self Check. A serious self-check. Nobody else can be able to do that. You'll know where the seed of anger came from. Spiritual sleep. You'll know where the spiritual, where the, the, the bad seed of irresponsibility came from. Spiritual sleep. And you wake up. When you wake up, the Lord is waiting aware that you are human. And when you turn from your sins, he is waiting to forgive you. He is waiting to forgive me. That's my prayer that I may stay awake spiritually. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you because your mercies are new every morning. Thank you because there is no sins that you cannot forgive. All you require from us is just to come and tell you the day that we are sorry and you will forgive us for a contrite heart, O oh God, and a confessing heart you will never reject. Help each one of us, O oh God, to come back to you where we have gone astray. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Maybe you are there and you have never trusted the Lord and seeds have been planted, bad seeds have been put up and put and put and put. You are only living because uh, some pe somebody somewhere is interceding for people generally and you are benefiting from that. It's a time that you can say enough is enough and tell the Lord, here I come, I am a sinner, forgive me my sin and he'll save you. Would you like to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you as a sinner. I repent of my sins, oh God. Forgive me and write my name in the book of life that I may have a desire to grow spiritually, oh God, and that my father, I may bear fruits worthy of the calling in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. You become a new creature. Look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without 
compromise for your spiritual growth. When you go there, around into the deep, look for a group that meet regularly for your spiritual growth. You need a home church. And when you are in a home, you not only stay in the table room, you can go even into the inner bedrooms. That is what it means in the kingdom. When you go to that home church, round, go to fellowship, get involved in different measures. There is a lot of work to be done and the Lord will bless you. I love you and God loves you the most. Uh, this is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. And you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different unrated servants of God by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also tune in and search one word, uh, Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, go to your Play Store, download the app, one word, digital media, it is free, and you'll be blessed. When you are blessed, remember to bless others so that we can continue to further this gospel in the name of Jesus. Also, like our Facebook page of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. Subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. If you have done, if you have done it, God bless you. Continue to encourage others to do so. Last but not least, I want to encourage you. Every Wednesday and Thursdays, uh, I am usually on air from... 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, that is like the state I am in in Minnesota. Um, Pacific Time, it's 4 p.m. If it doesn't come on time, the program, you can always listen. Most of the time, it's repeated at 7, depending on the air time. That is Wednesdays and Thursdays. So, later today in the evening, and the Lord will bless you. I also want to request you something. Be praying for celebrate your moment with joy. And if God gives you a burden to join hands with us, you are welcome. Inbox me and we can talk and God will bless you. I love you and God loves you the most.